happened, bud? Oh, we got hit from the side and flipped over. I don't know how many times. Okay, you think you blacked out at all? Yeah, I did. The primary benefit is to make the training real as real as we can and and simulate what it would really be like whether it's it for the rescuers to appreciate what a patient experiences in a situation like this um and it's as authentic as we can possibly create okay can we get oxygen over here we're gonna put a collar around your neck here uh, one of the scenarios was a driver that had a severe leg injury and was trapped by the steering column and the steering wheel unbeknownst to him his leg was actually amputated the mannequin allows us to create fake bleeding so once they were able to identify and see the leg they could see there was arterial bleeding and so they needed to arrest the bleeding by applying a tourniquet one two three we then had a live uh, victim in the vehicle she had some pain in her chest and in her neck and uh, gave her an opportunity to appreciate, first and foremost, what it would be like to be a passenger in the car. C-spine ready, one, two, three, go. This uh, training scenario back here is part of our trauma life support class. It's uh, being done in conjunction with UPMC pre-hospital care. We're ready. The EMTs and paramedics of Medical Rescue Team South are dedicated to excellent training so that we can apply those principles to the street. To me, that's how we win the day, is to put them in a situation where it does feel real, so that when they're really out there on Castellano Boulevard or Route 51 or wherever they find themselves, that they'll be able to do the best job they can. What we're doing is the rescue medicine interface. So what the rescue company needs to do, what the medics need to do, make sure everybody's working together to cooperate in the buffer. Um, a lot of fire departments don't do that. And for something like this, you really need to understand the medical components before you start taking the car apart. I want the, the, the community to appreciate the hard work that emergency medical services do every day, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. And what we did today is just part of their day. They're trying to train and be the best they possibly can. And it's a lot of work, a lot of, a lot of effort, but we know when the day is done that we're making them better and so that we can together as a team take care of those patients.